Hi. In this video, I'll be performing a software upgrade on my Juniper SRX 210 device. Now this process is gonna be the same no matter what platform you're working with, whether that's EX, QFX, MX, it's the same process. So in this video, I'll be performing the software upgrade via FTP, uh, as this is one of the easier methods. To begin with this video, I'll start by downloading the desired software. If I hop on my device right quick and I just issue a show version, I can see that I'm currently running version 12.146 D76. So in order to retrieve the software, I'm gonna navigate over to Juniper product downloads page by simply searching for it in Google and going to their downloads page. Once I get there, I simply type in the product name. In my case, mine's an SRX 210. So I see that that device popped up. I'll go ahead and click that. If I scroll down, now the latest one out is 3X, but my platform is HE, which is the high-end model, which doesn't support the 3.x code. So I'll be using the latest 12.1x, 4x. Now I've already downloaded this, so I won't download it again. Once we have the software downloaded, we then want to have a way to transfer it from our local desktop over to the Juniper SRX. In my case, I'll be using WinSCP. To get there, you can simply search for WinSCP download in Google and click on the link for the official site, which is winscp.net. Clicking this download link for WinSCP should download it automatically. Again, I already have this installed, so I won't download it again. Once you have it installed and running, you can go ahead and fire up WinSCP, but enable to establish the connection between WinSCP and the Juniper device, I'll need to enable the FTP protocol. So I'm gonna hop back over on my Juniper device. I'll move into the edit configuration. And if I look at the current system services that are enabled by issuing the command show system services, I'll see I only have SSH enabled. So I need to turn on FTP to allow that file transfer protocol. So I'll do a set system services FTP. All right, I can see that it is now in place. I will commit the configuration. All right, now that that's complete, I'll change the file protocol in WinSCP to FTP. I'll type in the IP address of my device and log in. Okay, it automatically logged me into the device. I'm gonna store this file on the Juniper SRX in the var temp folder. So to navigate to there, I'll just double click this up arrow. All right, so now that I'm in the var folder, var temp. All right, the code I want is D86. So I'll copy this, drag it over, and wait for this process to complete. This will take a moment, so I'll speed it up when it's done. Okay, and I have an error saying that there's not enough space on the device. So what I'll do, because uh, 76 is already installed, I'll just remove this file. All right. And I will try that again. All right, the file is now loaded onto the box. If I navigate over to the box, I can verify this by issuing the file list command. Let me first exit out of configuration mode, file list. And I can see that the file that we just transferred is now showing up locally on the device as expected. With this in place, we can now perform the software upgrade. The command is request system software add. We'll then specify the path to where the software file is located. In this case, it's in the var temp folder. And I'll just highlight this to copy the name and tack on the no validate parameter as I don't want this to compare it against the current running configuration. And I'll issue a reboot so that it can take care of all of that at once. This will take another moment, so I'll speed this up in the edit. All right, now the software upgrade has completed and the device is rebooted. So I will log into the device. And off the back, I can see that the new software is showing me that it's D86, which is what I was looking for. We can also validate this uh, using the show version command that I'll run just a moment. All right, so now that I'm inside of the box, I'll run the show version command. Let's see what's currently running. And there we go. We can see that the software took effect. All right, guys, well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.